and welcome to this video I'm going to have for you uh, today uh, and today I'm going to talking about something very important and also something that is very good news uh, because I believe in the world that we are living in today all people have uh, have some questions about life and especially four questions that all of us believe I believe that all of us have there's four questions, important questions, that I believe all of us uh, human beings have. And before I'm, I'm going to answer that, let me just uh, present myself. Uh, my name is, uh, is Ture. Uh, it's actually a Norwegian name because I'm from Nor Norway. Um, uh, but um, I also have a website called goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com. So check out uh, my website uh, if you want that. And I also have a fa Facebook page uh, by the same, uh, same name. Uh, so, so please feel free to check it out. Check out my Facebook page and also my website goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com uh, So, but uh, all people they have unquest uh, four questions that they really want an answer to. And maybe you, you think that I, didn't, I, I don't think so much about that. Uh, but deep down I believe that all people want to have an answer to those four questions. And maybe you live in denial and, and, you, and you think it doesn't matter for you or you're not a person that really cares about it. But deep down, I believe that you also want to know the answer to these four basic questions, these four essential questions that all people have. It doesn't matter if you are a religi religious person or a non-religious person, person, if you are a Christian, if you are a Buddhist or if you are a Hindu or Muslim or any other religions. Uh, there is a longing in all people's hearts to know the answer to these four, these four questions that I have for you today. So I'm just asking you, are you ready? Are you ready to know these four questions that I have? That, that it's actually possible to get an answer to. And I will give you the good news today too, that there is answer to these four questions. And maybe even today you have been thinking about it, and then maybe so, some haven't, but, but maybe you have. <laughs> there are maybe someone who has even, even been thinking about those questions today. And, and maybe you're just listen to, listening to this video right now, and it it's kind of talks to you. And I believe that, uh, yeah, there is someone who wants to talk to you. I believe that there is someone who, who really wants to tell you who you are, for instance. So, are you ready? Let's, let's get started on these four questions that I have for you. The first one is, where do we come from? Where are we from? And sure, many, many people, I believe, they have the answer to that. And some people, I believe, we, come, we are just, uh, we're just animals. It comes from, from the monkeys. Uh, we're just ape, uh, uh, very developed uh, monkeys, kind of. Uh, but we just are animals. Uh, many believe believe that, but is that my question is is that truly satisfying to just believe that you are an animal? What if if it was better than that that you actually are not an animal? That there is someone who actually created you. What if the if if it if it is like this that you didn't come from the apes, <laughs> you didn't come from animals. Is that better news? So, uh, so that's the first question. Where do you come from? And many people have tried to figure this out and try to find this out. And many, many also people, they, if you're not religious, you, you kind of, you kind of, uh, you don't want to think about God, that there is a God who created you. So we try to come up with something else. And that's why people have, have come up with this idea. <laughs> actually that we are from the monkeys and the second one is very important and it is actually connected with, to the first one and many people that don't see it but this second question is maybe the most important one and if you believe that you are from the monkeys then you will have problems with this question too and this question is who am I who am I truly you know there's a lot of people who don't like themselves 
They will believe they are bad. They believe they don't believe in themselves. They believe that they, they are just unworthy. They, they, they don't believe they have any value at all. And if you have this thinking that you are from the animals, that you are a monkey or something like that, you will, will not see at yourself at something that's, that is something that is valuable. You don't, you don't want to look at yourself as something valuable. So you have that, that on the one, one side, and then you have the, then one thing on the other side, on the religious side. That, that also they're talking about that the people is just bad. He's talking about sin, for instance, and, and they're talking about that, that people are just bad. And religion also makes people believe in themselves in the wrong way. They believe that they are only bad. But I have good news for you in these questions too. Who am I? I have good news for you. You're not an animal and you're not bad. You were created and you were not created bad. And that's one good news that I wanted to share with you today. The third one also is very important. What is the purpose for my life? What is the purpose being here on this earth? Are you just born by accident? Is there a reason for me being on this earth? Has my life any purpose? Am I loved? I think one of the main questions many people have and is the main thing that people are searching for in this world is love. Because can I tell you the truth? You were created for love. You were created for love. That's why people are looking for love all the time. And sometimes we look, at, look after love in the wrong places. And we find uh, things in the wrong places. The reason is because we want to find a purpose for our, our lives. We want to find love. And we find love often. We, we seek love in the wrong places. And we truly don't find what true love is. And again, it's coming back to, to know what true love is. You actually need to go back to who that, who, if you are animals or not, or if there is a creator. And I have good news for you in this area too. There is a creator who loves you and he wants to, you too, to know that you are loved. And you can find purpose in this life through him. There is a purpose for your life. And the purpose, the, the main purpose is that you should feel loved. That's the main purpose. Many believe that they have some great big task down here or, or they have the value in what they're doing. And if they just get enough money or, or if they just get famous or, or even, even if you are a Christian or something, they, they think that it, their value in what is in what they're doing if they are a great missionary or something like that. And many believe that they get their value and their purpose in life in, in what they are doing. But you find your purpose by finding love. And you need to find love to find purpose for your life. I hope you see it. And the fourth one, the fourth question, is also a big one. And people, most people, they don't want to think about that. And they are maybe even afraid of that question. And this question is, what happens when I die? And it's a big one. <laughs> And it's many people there feel uncomfortable with this question and I try to avoid it. I, I sometimes, I have done that too. But deep down, they, I still believe that, it, deep down, I still believe it bothers you. If you try to deny it or don't want to think about it, it's bother you deep down anyway. Some believe that everything will be dark and, and there will be nothing. Some believe that we will be reborn somehow, uh, depending on our bad or good behavior. Uh, we may, might be reborn as an animal or, or a dog or cat or a cow or something. Or some believe that if, if you have a good karma, if you do good things, you, 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 will, you will get rich in the next life. Or if you, if you have not done good things, you will be reborn as poor or sick or something like that. By the way, when do you know when you have been good enough to, have to be reborn in a good way? That's also a question. 
Many believe also there is a heaven and there is a hell. But you only get there if your behavior is good, good enough. If you get to heaven if your behavior is good enough. You have maybe repented enough or confessed your sins enough or done good deeds enough and so on. But when, I have a question here too, but when do you know when you have done good enough and done enough? And I do have some good news for you in these questions too. So just hang on, I'm coming to it very soon. What I'm going to tell you now is maybe sounds like I'm going to convert you to a religion. But listen carefully, because I'm not really trying to convert you to a religion, not even to the Christian religion. But I'm, I want to get you, you to know a person, because it's about a person, not a religion. Because we can very, very often we split up like this religion, this religion, and so on. But I'm not talking about specifically religion, I'm talking about specific a uh, person. And that's a big difference. That's a big difference. <laughs> and I'll explain for you. Because it's all about actually knowing this person, this person who actually calls himself love. He calls himself love. And, and it's about knowing him. It's not about knowing our religion. It's about knowing him who calls himself love. And this person, he has the answer to these four questions. He has good news. There is good news for you. And the good news is this. So hold on now. The, the good news is there is one who has created you and that's actually good news you're not an ape you're not an, a monkey <laughs> you there is a creator who created you and you are valuable you are loved your life have, has a purpose and you can for sure know where you are going when you die is that good news it is good news and it's basically coming down to this. And I know many people they have bad experience with Christianity, with Christians or, 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 or religion uh, in general. But I do talk about this person in what we call the Bible. <laughs> there is a creator that you find in the Bible. And I believe there also is a person called Jesus. Who has the answer for these four questions and it doesn't really matter what religion you're coming from it doesn't really matter yes people have made religion I believe that there's people who have made religion really <laughs> even Christian religion but it's about a person again I just want to repeat that it's about a person there is one that has created you and he, he was before all religion the one who created you, he was before all, all religion, all people, and all people groups. He was before everything. And also, I, don't, I want to say this too, that I don't say that all religion is bad. Even though many people have misused religion in a bad way, and it, it has a bad name in many ways. And, and then the people that have a bad experience with religion, even Christian religion. But all religion tries to do is actually to make you to become a better person or a good person or a better person. And in, in itself that is not bad. <laughs> it, it tries to, to do something with the bad and, and make it good. And, and most religions do that, try to do that. They try to make something bad into something good. And they're trying to make us good because we are bad and, and trying to make us good. And, but the problem is that there is nobody who has been good, even from the birth until they die. There is no, you don't find any person in this world who has been able to do it. So religion tries to help 
and there is a problem called sin and religion try to help they try, try to give you an answer to the problem and they, they try to give you some good rules to, to live by and, and the rules in itself is not bad I don't say that either uh, but the ma message is often this try as good as you can and maybe your next life will be better maybe you get to heaven Maybe you, you be, be reborn as uh, something better than that, um, something maybe a rich per person or something like that, that you have a good health. Or and if you are born in a poor country, maybe you will be get born in a rich country or something like that. And that's the whole thing, the thing that the religion tried to help you with, to become a little bit better. But the problem is still this word sin. And it's a problem for all people, even, even if people deny it. Many people deny that there is something called sin and so on, but, but it's still there. It's, it's a problem. It's, it has been, been a problem from the beginning, from the beginning, the two person that was created first. Sin came in by two persons. And it has been a problem ever since. But I have good news for you in this too. Because there is, the first two people is called, called Adam and Eve, if you don't know that. But there was a second, it's, it's called a second Adam. <laughs> and it was actually the son of, Jesus, or son of God, Jesus Christ. And he lived a perfect life. He lived a, sinful, a sinless life. <laughs> he didn't have sin in his life. And because of him, you can also be sin without sin anymore. If you receive him in your life, sin will not become a part of you anymore and you can have fellowship with the Creator and you can find out who you truly are because that's the longing that you have. You can find out who, what true love is God, because sin is one thing that hinders you for, to see what true love is. You know, it, it, it has a bad sin, has kind of a because in the moment people hear the word sin, they draw away and, and say, I said, no, I don't have, I don't want to hear about that. Because they feel condemned right away. When they hear the word sin, they feel condemned right away. But I have some good news for you. Yeah, there is something called sin, but there is also a person who did something with the problem of sin. And that's the good news. That's the good news I want to share with you. That's the good news for you. That there is a person who did something with sin. So you can get rid of this problem called sin. It doesn't really need to re-rule your life anymore. There is a person who died and rose and won victory over the power of sin and death. And by knowing him, you will also be without sin anymore. And you can also overcome death. Sounds too good, good to be true. Sounds like a fairy tale, but if it is true, would you like, like to see if it is? Do you want to try it out? <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to convert you if you believe in something else. I'll just challenge you today. Just challenge you to get to know this person I'm talking about. Try him out. Test him out. If, it is, isn't, is, if he isn't what you have been looking for. If he, he doesn't have the answer you have been looking for, find out and get to know this person I'm talking about. Find out what, what true love is. Find out about who, who God truly is. You know, I have found out myself that this is true. That He is real. That love is real. Many don't believe in love anymore. <laughs> because they have, have just have an experience with the fake love and the not real love that's why they don't believe in love anymore they don't really believe there is something called love anymore because they only experience with the fake love but I have experienced true love who God truly is I have seen him heal me I have seen him heal other people uh, and I have seen his love and I know what true love is it has healed my broken heart that's why one of the heading, or the, the main heading for my teachings I have on goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com is exactly that. Good news for broken hearts. I have good news 
for you. Do you also want to know and find out what true love is? This is my challenge. This is my desire for you today. Do you want to know? Do you want to find out what true love is? So I will challenge you to know your creator and this person called Jesus. And put away religion. Put away what you have maybe heard about Christianity or, or Christian religion also. Get to know this person. Don't, don't look at, even don't look at the Christians sometimes. You know, Christians have a bad reputation sometimes. They doesn't look like Jesus. Sad to say, but many Christians, they, they don't look like Jesus. Or who Jesus is. They don't represent to who truly Jesus is. So I will challenge you today. Find out who this person is. Who Jesus is. No matter what who has hurt you. Or experience that you have. Try him out. I, I, if you sincerely want to know this person. I'm very sure. That you will. Not be disappointed. And I believe that your life will be changed too. Like it has done for many, many people. I have seen it. I've seen it in my own life, seen it in my, life, my wife's life, and in many people's life that people's life have been changed when they know who true love is, who God truly, truly is. So I'll challenge you to find out more about this. I don't have time to explain everything and teach you everything today. I will, I will quit now. Uh, but but feel, feel, please, please feel free to spread this video around. Feel free to do that. Download it from YouTube or, or you can even download it from, from my website. And spread it. Spread it out. Spread it on Facebook or, or other places. And, and share what I have shared with you today. And, uh, and I also have more information. I have more. Uh, also, if you have questions, just feel free to contact me on my website, goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com. You can contact me on also on my Facebook page. Uh, so feel free to do that. And spread this, this word around. Spread this message around. Please feel free to spread this, this, uh, this video that I have that is also on YouTube. Uh, feel free to spread it around. Share it with other people. Please feel free to do that. That's a good thing, thing to do. And if you want to know more, please visit my website, goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com and my Facebook page. And also my YouTube channel. So I just wanted to, to say that to, to, you, to you today. And remember that you are loved. There is a person who loves you. Your life has value. Uh, you, are not, you are created for a purpose. You don't come from the apes. Uh, you can know where you go when you die. You don't have to be afraid of death anymore. You don't have to be afraid of who you are anymore. There is a good news for you. There is an answer for your life. There is an answer and a hope for your life. So that, that is what, what, what was on my heart today. And I just, yeah, just feel free to share this on to other people also. Mm -hmm.